Uh, here's an example of how the algorithm would work. And this is a toy example. I'm not actually going to spend very much time on this, right? So I have a five-word vocabulary, run, lion, cat, dog program. And my query was uh, two words, run, uh, run, and cat. So in vector representation, you get 10100. Uh, and that query is ambiguous because uh, run cat, it could refer to the animal running uh, or it could refer to, um, to a process running on a Unix box, right? Cat is a Unix command and, and cat runs on Unix. Um, so suppose the user gave you a relevant document which had two occurrences of uh, run, two occurrences of line, and one occurrence of cat, and one non-relevant document which had two occurrences of run, one occurrence of cat, and three occurrences of program. So, um, you just plug them into the formula, and uh, I'm, I'm not going to go through that. This is just for your benefit. The only, um, uh, the only thing to pay attention to here is um, when you do this, you kind of want to keep everything in the positive octant. So if you have a term program which ends up with a negative weight as a result of Rocchio, you truncate it back to zero. You don't have negative weights in IR. Uh, it may seem a bit counterintuitive, but it's... Um, it's uh, Actually works uh, actually works better this way.